You know, early in November every year, right when the, the rifle season's kicking off in the state of Texas, we host this great big Yamaha Riders event. We're bringing in several Yamaha staff members. We're bringing in a mix of people from the outdoor hunting, fishing, and ATV industry together, and we all gather at the camp and we go hunting. And we're gonna have people like Gordon Whittington, a seasoned veteran. And then we'll always bring in somebody new to the mix. And this year, we've got Vern from Dirt Tracks TV. He'll be on his first whitetail hunt. This week is always a special week at the Whitetail Diaries camp because we're eating good, we're playing, we're enjoying camaraderie in the field, and hopefully knocking down a few good whitetail bucks. We're southwest Texas, outside of Brackettville, near Del Rio, Texas. It's almost the, the border of Texas and Mexico. And, and we have an opportunity out here on some good land for white-tailed deer to, to showcase our vehicles, but also showcase the hunting lifestyle. And, and we've taken that opportunity to get some, some sponsor partners, some members of the media, uh, friends of Yamaha out here and, and showcase both. You know, that we're out here living the lifestyle and, and showing just how these vehicles can perform outdoors in general, but also during the course of a hunt. So uh, with Wade and the Whitetail Diaries crew out here helping us uh, really doing most of the work as far as the, you know, the year long process of hunting, we come down and we were very privileged to come and you know, get into a stand or a blind or, or uh, sometimes even a tree stand and, and hunt deer and uh, spend time in camp and, and do what you know, millions of people across North America do each and every year. You know, Vern came in as a, as a first time hunter and there's so much the better, you know, he's real, real excited about the opportunity and, and we get excited when people are excited about the opportunity and he came in wanting to do everything the right way and make sure everything was above board and man, we couldn't ask for anything more than that. This most recent trip got me really excited. I've never hunted before. It's uh, something that's always intrigued me. Uh, we obviously have a lot of uh, outdoorsmen with indoor tracks, but when Yamaha called, I didn't want to miss out. We went up to the firing range and uh, Wade Middleton was a great. He had everything sort of lined up for us and uh, he had scoped in the rifle beforehand, but he just wanted to make sure that I was comfortable with it. So literally it was within about three rounds, uh, we pretty much dialed that uh, rifle in just perfectly and uh, got some tips from Wade uh, that was pretty helpful and um, we were pretty much set for the next day. first day was for me to stay by uh, Steve Nessel's side and go to a box blind uh, out uh, near a, uh, a feedlot. We got there early in the morning and even before the sun rose, there was already deer on that plot. I was, pr I was really glad when we had animals in the field right away and uh, it wasn't long before we had an eight point come in. And uh, that's where, for me, it gets kind of funny because when people come to Texas, they think the, the first deer, the first buck they see is the biggest buck they're ever gonna see. And uh, Vern seemed pretty keen on the eight. And then we had a nice dark horned eight come in and he had a different style rack, but he was also a pretty good deer. Steve walked me through a couple of the scenarios. He walked me through in terms of uh, just the general behavior of the deer, what we should expect. He walked me through a lot of the positions in which are as best to strike the deer. He walked me through sort of just pointing out, you know, the buck that are desirable versus the buck that we should really pass by. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's about conservation as well. We're not here to basically take a life for the sake of just shooting. We're here to basically harvest a deer that we can make good use of. It's supposed to maybe rain a little bit more today and then beat her out tonight. We right. do it tomorrow, so yeah, we saw a good eight point this morning. Actually, a couple of nice ones. Yeah, yeah there was a couple of good ones for one sure. One was probably definitely too young. There was another one that he's mature. He'd be a really good first good buck. I could tell you liked him a little bit. But uh, now it's good for you to get the gun up, get the scope on him, and uh, get comfortable. So that first day was really educational for me. I learned quite a bit, and also allowed me to get a lot more acquainted with what to expect when it came down to the point of me making the decision to, to pull the trigger. 